that we are customizable, we're scalable, and we're agile. So we will really take whatever needs that a, a client has. And even though our solutions are robust and have those bells and whistles that almost everybody can use just the way it is, mm -hmm. we love a challenge to be able to meet your needs. Mm -hmm. So if you have a challenge that you think is insurmountable and, oh, I don't think we can find that solution, just give it to us. We can we can work that through that with you and we can scale and customize with you to uh, to make it exactly what you need and to be able to grow with you. Welcome to Business Ninjas, brought to you by Write For Me, where you'll hear from business leaders who are out there growing their business and slaying it every day. Learn from the masters. Let's get started. Hey, everybody. Welcome back for another episode of Business Ninjas. I'm here today with Kate McQuaid. She's the director of marketing at P360. Kate, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Kelsey. Yeah, excited to have you. So Kate, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I've been in marketing for a little over 18 years, um, have always been in the IT space and now most recently been in the life sciences space and um, just have kind of worn a lot of different hats in my career and uh, excited to be here and talk about it. Yeah, fantastic. So we're in a bunch of different hats and now you're at P360. Tell, tell me a little bit more about P360. Well, P360 is, um, is a solutions company that deals with uh, pharma and biotech companies. And so we deal with all types of solutions from communication, engagement, as well as dealing with uh, the ever cumbersome data that can be siloed and using AI and machine learning to make it more reasonable, uh, uh, reachable and make it so that you can actually use that data that you're collecting from multiple different sources. Okay, interesting. Break down what some of those solutions look like to me. Sure. Um, so Zing is actually our solution, which is um, pharma to HCP communication. So to the um, HCP, to the healthcare providers, it's actually frictionless. There's no app to log into. There's no logins to remember. Um, it's really just one simple native way of getting their text messages. Um, it's all compliant um, focused so that, you know, you don't have to worry about the regulations on the pharma side, which mm -hmm. there's a lot of that in life sciences. Yeah. Um, you can do anything from a video calling to uh, co-browsing to QR codes to signature capture to um, getting information basically as they need it mm -hmm. on demand for that HCP, which is hugely vital, as wow. opposed to some other platforms that you would have to log into different um, mm -hmm different logins uh, to yeah. be able to do a video call or to get, um, you know, answers when they need it. So it's really to kind of make that streamline for the HCP to make nice. that communication happen faster. Um, nice. We also have bird's eye, which is a different platform, which handles um, commercial operations on the back end. So that's mm -hmm. um, taking a data lake of information that people have of siloed information coming from, you know, whether it's from doctors in a hospital to mm -hmm. maintenance to, you know, the pharma reps, and just having them all talk to each other with um, AI and machine learning to handle forecasting, handle um, territory assignments, mm -hmm. um, knowing which sales reps needs to go where mm -hmm. at what time, and uh, to be able to uh, be able to map out their their uh, their day to day uh, mm -hmm. automations for their marketing as well as their sa sales footprint um, in a more strategic manner. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's really just about solutions about connecting and making sure that you're saving time because at the end of the day that time is really the most valuable commodity and um, we help to streamline it. I was just about to say, uh, it sounds like your goal is to streamline a lot of processes for these companies. So is that one of the biggest ways that you would say P360 is able to stand out from its competition? Exactly, the biggest advantage we have is agility. We have been in the marketplace for long enough that we have the expertise. We have so many talented people on our staff mm -hmm. and we've been through the ins and outs that we've weeded out what works and what mm -hmm. doesn't work. Mm -hmm. but we're also small enough that we can be agile and customizable to whatever yeah. the customer needs. So mm -hmm. our biggest thing is somebody comes to us and they say, hey, we have these insurmountable problems that X, Y, Z can't meet. Mm -hmm. And we say, hey, we've got you. You want it in six months, we'll do it in four months. Mm -hmm. And we will work with a customer to make sure that their needs are being met. And um, it really helps to be agile and to be able to move yeah. with the company at the speed that they need it. Because Telling someone that they can't, they can have it, but not for 18 months is just not feasible in any industry, especially not life. No, 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 I completely agree with you. That's really interesting. So what would you say, you know, you talked a little bit about having your customers. Is there a specific size customer that you tend to see P360 working better with? Or is it, you know, I know you talked about the industry, but is there a specific size customer? 
Um, so great question. We actually have a limitless opportunity to reach all different types nice. of um, company sizes. Um, kind of that sweet spot where it's really easy for us to integrate with is going to be those medium to larger size um, mm -hmm. companies. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those really large 800 pound gorillas, it can be a larger lead up. And that just has to do with they have legacy technologies in place. Mm -hmm. So sometimes once you have that in place and you're dealing mm -hmm. with someone who's huge, like a Google, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be really hard to unwind that and to shift to somewhere mm -hmm. else, even if they know that their current um, solutions are broken or they're mm -hmm. not functioning properly. So mm -hmm. even though they know we could be more efficient, just unwinding that and moving to something that's going to help them can be a little more daunting. So of yeah. course, that's going to be a little bit more challenging to kind of get your foot in the door. Mm -hmm. um, so the people that are just under that level, you know, the 600 pound gorilla, the 400 pound gorilla, those are kind of the sweet spot where they really know they have an issue yeah. that they need to solve. We can get in there and we can make that solution yeah. um, happen for them in a timely manner. So, and that's, that's, again, it goes back to time. So you're saving them that time, that ease of use, making sure that their data is something that they can use in a secure yeah. and compliant manner. Yeah. Would you say that's one of the biggest challenges that your customers have customers have before they start working with you is just like the inability to kind of work through that data and really like old legacy systems? So um, it depends on what platform we're working on. If you're looking yeah. at our commercial operations side, so like our bird's eye platform, then mm -hmm. absolutely. A lot of times people are coming to us because they have that siloed uh, data and they don't know how to use it. They're like, yeah, it's great. I have all this information that I'm collecting from X, Y, and Z, but they're not talking to each other and I don't know how to mm -hmm. make it happen. Mm -hmm. I know we need automation for our sales team or mm -hmm. for our day-to-day -day operations for marketing. I don't know how to make that happen or... Mm -hmm we don't have a system in place that's working seamlessly to make mm -hmm. it happen in a functional, mm -hmm. intentional way. Mm -hmm. And that's where we can come in and really solve all those problems and, and tick and tie them together so that they have something that's usable and really propel them into the future and, and work with them as they grow and, uh, and scale according to their needs. Interesting. Um, yeah, other platforms too, like, a, like Zing, which is actually that communication platform between um, pharma and HCPs, that's actually going to be uh, more about the communication, being there mm -hmm. to be, uh, to make that connection a lot sooner. Because, mm -hmm. you know, 15 years ago, you used to have a pharma rep go and wait at a doctor's office and they would wait in the waiting room and then they would go see the HCP and they would give them their samples, mm -hmm. their brochures, and then they would move on to the next office. And now, especially after going through the pandemic that we just faced over the last, gosh, coming up on three years, that's not how it's done anymore. Sometimes you can't even wait in the office, especially at the height of the pandemic. Sometimes when you wait in the office, you're not going to be able to get in to see the HCP. And now there's a lot of regulations too about what you're allowed to leave, how long you're allowed to wait, when you're allowed to see them. And so really having something that is seamless to the mm -hmm. HCP, not giving them any more work, any more login for them to, to have to deal with, mm -hmm. that really helps to streamline that and make those connections still there because the pharma rep still needs to tell the HCP about their solutions mm -hmm. or what's going to happen um, you know, coming down the pipe to help yeah. their patients. Yeah. And they still want to have that information um, from what we're hearing from the HCPs. So really tick and tying them together so that they connect, can, can connect it is uh, the goal at the end of the day that we help find that solution for. So it sounds like COVID really had an impact on P360. It did, actually. So it was actually um, over two years ago that we launched um, Zing, which is that platform. And of course, there's been, you know, evolutions um, between now and then with more bells and whistles and more features mm -hmm. um, coming out all the time. And we're still working on some now with our roadmap. Um, but of course, COVID really did impact mm -hmm. that connection and that availability mm -hmm. for that pharma rep and the HCP to connect and talk. Mm -hmm. And so Zing just was perfect timing to be able to get mm -hmm. in there and really have that engagement platform presented to those pharma companies and those biotech companies as another way for them to interact and engage in a meaningful manner that while you're still being compliant and following all the rules that the regulations um, have put in place. Yeah, that's really interesting. So what would you say the biggest misconception would be either about P360 or, you know, the, the space, the relationship between, you know, the pharma rep and the HPC? Um, what would you say that would be? Or HCP? Um, so I think, well, between the pharma rep and the HCP, I think a big misconception is that things are going to go back to the way that they were. And mm -hmm. There's no way to do that um, because quite frankly, even though maybe the people in those individual industries will want that to happen, uh, there's regulations that's, that are coming out more and more often. And you really just need to keep up with those regulations to make sure that you're being compliant and being relevant 
and you're mm -hmm. still getting the information that you need, it's never going to go back to mm -hmm. all in person all the time. Mm -hmm. And you need to figure out another way to move with the times and to move mm -hmm. into the future, but still keep it easy and seamless and frictionless for that HCP, mm -hmm. which is what Zing does. Yeah. Um, from another standpoint, from um, what we think that's, that's a barrier there is that when you deal with companies that want to make a change and then they see it as, oh, it's insurmountable, there's too much. So again, with that 800, 800 pound gorilla, if they think that it's too much to overcome, so they're a little bit nervous to get started, that mm -hmm. is definitely a barrier that we have to work through to get mm -hmm. um, to get them to understand that it's, you know, you don't have to jump in with two feet. You can really mm -hmm. do a piece by piece and a modular approach. Mm -hmm. um, and that's usually how you kind of get your foot in the door and can really mm -hmm. show them and show them that the proof is in the pudding, that this really mm -hmm. does work and we really can have these solutions for you. Yeah. So for people who are listening to this podcast, know somebody may need a solution themselves. How would they start, you know, to begin working with you? Sure. I mean, they can just go to our website, which mm -hmm. is um, p360.com. There's a lot of information on there, lots of CTAs. They can contact us um, and then reach out, email to us. We can show you a quick demo. We can give you that sandbox um, environment so that you can see nice. it in real world action. Um, we have a lot of interactive videos on there. We have, um, we have a chief medical officer, Dr. Mara, who has some uh, video content both on our webpage as well as our YouTube channel that mm -hmm. can help kind of walk through exactly what the platforms does, as well mm -hmm. as like some needs for the HCP from that side perspective. Um, so there's a lot of information out there, yeah. but um, yeah. please contact us and we can help walk you through that. That's great. That's great. Good to know. So, Kate, if you wanted to leave our listeners with either kind of one thing about P360, about Bird's Eye, about Zing, what would you want to leave our listeners with? Um, just that we are customizable, we're mm -hmm. scalable, and we're agile. So we will really take whatever needs that a, a client has. And even those our solutions are robust and have those bells and whistles that almost everybody mm -hmm. can use just the way it is. Mm -hmm. We love a challenge to be able to meet your needs. Mm -hmm. So if you have a challenge that you think is insurmountable and, oh, I don't think we can find that solution, just give it to us. We can we can work yeah. that through that with you, and we can scale and customize with you to uh, to make it exactly what you need, and to be able to grow with you. Yeah, those are three phenomenal characteristics too. I, I'm gonna jot those down for like those are some of the best characteristics and qualities a company can have: scalable, agile, and customizable. Is are those are the three, right? That's yep. fantastic. Well, Kate, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk about P360, the solutions that you offer, the space that you're in. I thought it was a great conversation, uh, and I really appreciate you being on Business Ninjas today. Thank you so much for having me again, Kelsey. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm.